Hey, are you kids behaving back there? Hi, how are you? Welcome back. Eric Hilla here. Today I'm going to tell you what happened when I went to in and out Hello, Eric Hila here. I have to say I look pretty cute in a trucker hat. Hello. What was I thinking to like, you know, I should have done this sooner. Duh. Like, hello. Okay, is it good? Are we good? We're G to G. We are good to go. Okay, so literally I went to in and out earlier and I got myself a 4 by 0 and a 4 by 4 for my mom. And for some reason, the way they rung it up was like a double meat and add two patties. And they gave me a double meat without my two patties. So I called the 800 number and they're really awesome. So I'm on my way back to In-N-Out after just getting back from In-N-Out because I ordered a burger. Okay, people tell me if this has ever happened to you, if you've ever ordered anything from like, oh gosh, I'm gonna say fast food, aren't I? Ugh, well, whatever. I'm gonna say a burger joint. What would that justify what I'm saying to you? Because it is fast food though. But look at me leading the caravan, blazing the trail. Ahead of my time. I always think of like Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat when I hear the phrase you're ahead of your time because of that song, you know, he's ahead of his time. Personally, I can't wait to get my new camera stand. It should be coming in the mail. And then these drama days of like no holster will be over. Duh. So boohoo to that. Right? Ugh. Mwah. I know I love this people. So irritated when like that happens, you know, when like the phone falls. Hello, you're not even in your lane. Ugh. You need to ask for permission to be honest. What time are they open to? Uh, okay, I'm in this really awkward situation here because the sun is shining right here. And if I put the camera here, I'll be washed out. So let me tell you what happened. So I went to In-N-Out and they kind of jumbled up my order. And it wasn't on purpose, it, just, it happens, whatever. I mean, hello, like it's happened to me when I used to work at Starbucks. Like I forgot like those five extra pumps of vanilla or whatever, and I give them a regular latte. But whatever, nonetheless, they made it up to me today. So I called the customer service hotline to let them know that, you know, I ordered a four by zero because I needed my protein for the day. And instead I got a double zero. So, hello and sorry sorry distraction <laughs> and uh, so i showed up and they already knew like who i was and they're like hi we have your order right in the way four by zero right i'm like oh no 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 no. okay now folks let me tell you something okay i am not a greedy human at all okay, let me tell you why i'm not greedy because i only got what i need what i require and then when i'm done with what i need i'm done right so i'm like no no because i already ate the double zero that they gave me earlier the two by zero whatever and it would just be a waste really it would be hogwash it would be nonsense really nonsensical for me to like eat that much meat in one day that's like way too much meat in my mouth for one day okay people let me just tell you i mean well you can never live really whatever anyway point being is so she made it up to me she was so nice what else can i get you like do you want some fries and i was willing to pay for an order of cheese fries for my mom because she didn't she burnt those in the oven when she tried to reheat that when i got home so like uh, don't reheat your cheese fries people okay and so she's like i got you on the house and like they don't even have a tip jar so i can even tip them but like point being is that the manager at in and out here is amazing like super caring and super awesome and like i can't wait to finally get home because my car is like totally starting to smell like grilled onions oh my god i love her hair oh hello oh, they were cute and gay you could tell okay like i know my tribe i'm like hello but they're probably not my tribe because they're not talking to me and typically like your tribe talks to you right Duh. hello hello <laughs> why hello <laughs> So by being hello, um, so I got um, my double zero, which I'm going to enjoy now, and my cheese fries. And I also printed out uh, my resume for another job interview that I, hopefully, fingers crossed, people, let's get some money going because um, I need to raise some funds for the conference that I'm going to be having really soon. I'm having a seminar. It's a speaking empowerment conference, $75 to $80 a ticket. Not sure yet. So I have to drive now, but I want you to know that I love you. And that was what happened today at in and out in and out in and now that's what our hamburgers all about love you till next time you better be giving it real